This is where you put the gas in on a 1973 Corvette Stingray. You have to grab the edge and you have to handle the lip of the lid there. I've always worried about the paint and scraping the car. So today I've decided to make an upgrade. Say hello to my new friend! Today I'm going to install this Le Mans flip top style gas cap, I guess you would call it. Uh, widely used in racing in the 1970s, uh, 60s, and it's made of uh, highly polished aluminum. It's pretty heavy. It's much thicker than the original factory um, piece, which is a simple kind of chrome ring. You can see this is highly machined uh, beveled. It uh, has an extra wide rubber gasket in the cap to keep uh, gas odors in. And um, let's take a look at, let's compare the two. Well, the factory ring you can see has got four screw holes and so does the, there they are, one, two, three, four. So if we take those out, whole thing should come out including the lid there and we should be able to replace it with this one in the exact position as the original. Okay first I'll protect the car of course with a fender protector and then I'll gather the parts. We'll need the uh, flip top cap of course. Oh and there's an, an additional part that I purchased for this installation. It's called a gas guard. This is what it looks like. So it's, it's essentially a just a piece of rubber. Let's see. It feels yeah it feels like a, a, an inner tube. Big piece of an inner tube. It's coated with some kind of coating. This will be great for some added protection when filling the car up, you know, at the fuel pump. Uh, the little ring will go around the, the neck there of the fuel filler and then the flap itself I would just tuck in there when I'm not using it. There's also, of course, uh, well, what is this? It's a that's an Allen wrench, and new. The uh, cap comes with four new screws. They look to be not, if not chrome, also highly polished aluminum. They're very nice. But what is this Allen wrench for? I wonder. I. Uh, an instruction sheet did come with this, but it is so faded it's almost unreadable, so... Okay, maybe right there. Yeah, well, I think that's the only place. Let's see if it fits. Alright, it does. It fits right there, so apparently the Allen wrench is for making adjustments to probably the angle of the, the cap. Alright, so we'll begin by removing the four factory trim screws that are holding in the chrome trim ring. And right away I notice, look at the difference in the screws. Much shorter than the, the new replacement screws. So you want to make sure that you use the right screws when you install the new fuel cap. Let's take out the other ones. Now, right now, I guess it's because the the new fuel cap is so much thicker, and it's going to require those longer screws. All right. Now very, very gently, there we go, it's got stuck a little bit in the front, just 
want to remove. All right, it's catching in the back. Now don't don't force it, but it's catching right there. So I'm going to be safe and just remove the lid by itself and take that away so that it doesn't scratch. All right, now that's gone. I'm going to just adjust this until it comes out very carefully. Not forcing it. There we go. All right, it's free and clear, and you can look at it now. It's uh, it's okay. It's in pretty good shape, but it is much thinner than the the new one. Now we've got the two pieces, of course. We're going to baggy them separately so that they never ever touch. Okay, for the next step, we're going to take the gas cap off. Just set it aside and. Well, I'll leave it face up just in case there's any gas on it. Then take the gas guard and I'll stretch it around the filler neck like so. Yeah, it should fit just like that. All right. So I'll put the cap back on very carefully always very carefully replace your your gas cap to prevent any sparking or anything and then tuck in the gas guard like so great all right now take our lip top and put it in the same position Okay, remember the screws. Don't use the short ones. You want these long screws because the width of this collar is so much thicker than the original. Now you'll have to feel around. I'm feeling. Can't there? I have, okay, you got to make sure everything's lined up. Get the screw in there, and then very carefully, slowly, take your time screw in each screw. Don't force any of them. Alright. Doesn't touch the back of the car? That's great. Time to test it. So that's how I installed Rocky's new Le Mans style fuel filler cap. I hope this video has been helpful to you and that you enjoyed it. See you next time.